Nation Mogul here. See, I got my hat, so I'm trying to make sure uh, I let y'all know who I am at all times. Um, I'm in making this video. I actually just uploaded uh, another video on my channel, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. Um, also, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I have a lot of content that comes out pretty frequently, um, usually motivational, inspirational, and also have my marketing videos as far as how you can make money online, and also pretty much practically making videos as I learned about the process as well. I'm not an expert per se, but I am learning different ways to make this comp the companies work for me and basically how to make money. And when I make um, profits, then I share them with you guys so that you guys can see if they are legitimate and that you can also use the same process that I have went through to also make that money as well. Um, but this video, I'm actually going to just be just talking to you guys flat out. Um, I used to do this a lot when I was at my last job. And lately, I've just been doing more computer videos, or videos on the computer, showing you how I work on there. So this one is going to be basically just me talking to you. And basically, the, the topic of today's video is going to be about um, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs and their mentality. A mentality that I have I have grown to adopt over the last few, um, year or so, since I've been starting on being an, an internet marketer, is basically to not give a fuck. To not care about what other people think, to not care about what the norm is, and to rather do what is best for you and your company and whatever it is you're trying to strive for. The um, reason why I say that is because a lot of us, we get caught up in the idea that because people are watching us, people are looking at us, that we have to do certain things a certain type of way. What I have noticed as an entrepreneur and as a internet marketer is that there is no strict way. There is no write up. Even though now, of course, you have books that will tell you their methods of how to actually become successful. But there is not one set way to make this happen. And literally, at the end of the day, you have to have the mindset of not caring about what the next person thinks and not what the next person is doing and be able to just go for it, whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, I actually watched a video just last night which prompted, this, prompted me to make this video today where this uh, young lady, she was talking about her business and how she had grown it from basically nothing to making over a million dollars in eight months, and all she was doing was selling hair. And um, one of the techniques that she had used was basically just putting her flyers everywhere, and that she felt like for her, she had no chill. You know, she did not give a fuck. She put it wherever she could possibly put it, wherever people could see it. And it made me think about, like, that is so true because when I remember when I was placing my flyers all over in my last area that I was staying in, I placed them everywhere. I placed them every single place. I placed them on, on parking lots. I placed them on cars in my neighborhood, on the areas around my neighborhood. I had placed um, stickers on ATMs. <laughs> I had placed stickers on gas station tanks. So it was like, I didn't care. You know, wherever I could place them, I placed them. The only thing is, uh, the only downside about that is that there are areas where, of course, you might place and place a sticker or place any type of advertisement, and it, it, it gets removed. So, you don't have that, of course, the advantage of getting more eyes on your product or your service because of that particular area it has been vacated as far as what you had to offer. So, there is always that possibility. But at the end of the day, the the reward is greater than the, the disadvantage. So when I say is, of course, you, that's what you also would definitely have to be mindful of where you would market. So you don't want to just have hair products promoted in, a, in an auto shop, okay? So it, it, that's where common sense will come in at. Where would you see more people, the, the people that you're looking for, where would you see them frequent more than anything? Now, one of the things that I loved about, I do love about MCA is that it targets anybody. At the end of the day, if you have a vehicle, if you have a child that's 18 years old, you have a child who just got a license, anything that involves along those lines, everybody can use a service. There's not just one type of people. You don't even have to be a mechanic just to be able to use a service. Because if you have a car, which a lot of people in the, just in the state of Georgia have, a, have vehicles, if you have a car, you can be able to use them. And hell, even if you don't have a car, the fact that they have discounts, in hotels and for other rental car companies, you can use that as well. So the the market is wider than your average business that has a niche. So that's why something I always usually look at when it comes to me promoting a product because I don't want to be limited. You know what I mean? And that's what a lot of entrepreneurs do not want to do is feel limited, which is why we do whatever the hell we want to do, which is why we promote however the hell we want to promote. And it's why I also, me in particular, I love guerrilla marketing. 
Because for me, guerrilla marketing may definitely makes you come out of your comfort zone and makes you be able to literally come up with an idea. An idea that is unique to you. It might be something that has been done in the past, but because you put a spin on it for yourself to work for you, it definitely it will bring you results. And a lot of times people forget that you don't have to do everything everybody else is doing. You, you can definitely be different. You can definitely change up your methods and try them out differently to see what brings you the best results. And most of the time, you're going to do trial and error. Most of the time, you're going to go ahead and probably go through a whole week every day, try something different to see which one gives you the most results. And the one that does give you the most results out of those five different methods, that's the one you're going to roll with. So now you try that from those from that one day of trying that one particular method in that seven-day span. Now you can try to expand that one, one method to seven days, to two weeks, to a whole month. You know what I mean? And then see, keep keeping an eye on how the results are going. And then from there, make any changes you might need to make, change, maybe change up the area, any of those types of things, and then prolong that promotion for greater, greater results. So this is where you have to have that mindset of not caring, of not giving a fuck. Because at the end of the day, for your product, your service, your business to grow and to succeed, it's all on your back. It's all up to you. It has nothing to do with the next person. It has nothing to do with the person who is ahead of you. It's all about how you are promoting it, how you are marketing it, and how you are putting it out there. And if you are making sure that you are doing the best that you can do, if you are getting up early every morning to talk to everybody that you can't talk to, if you have a call list, you're making sure that you have your you contact your email list, if you are making sure that you're uploading your videos as consistently as possible, then you will continue to see those results. You continue to see those the, the profits of your efforts, okay? And don't give up. Because as uh, people always say this shit, but it, it's it's so fucking true. Do not give up, because if you give up, you just never know all the rewards that you don't just basically just shat on that you could have had, but because you gave up on the idea of you actually being successful with it, now you don't want to do it anymore. You know, and you don't want to you don't want to have that time mind frame because especially if you have other people who are looking up to you, then you're gonna let them know that's okay to give up as well to be a quitter. That's something, that's something I never, ever have ever wanted to be. As you can see, I'm still promoting MCA. Even though people are, have already turned their backs on it, I'm not going to jump on my econ because for me, if I haven't perfected one as I would like to, why would I jump on something else? So I have to make sure that I continuously work this one, continuously do what I need to do to, to see the efforts in it because I still believe in the product. If you still believe in the pro, in whatever product and service that you're promoting and you know that there's money in it, and then you know that you can talk about it, you know that you can reach people with it, then continuously keep promoting it. And except all you got to do now is do it on a larger scale. The larger scale will definitely give you more challenges, but it will also help you to be creative in your mind frame so that way you can get the results that you're trying to get for the next company and for the next business, for the next opportunity. And that's all you have to be able to think about it because if you can master one, you can master them all. Okay, so don't be discouraged by whatever that's going on. If you need help and advice or motivation, I'm definitely always here to help you guys with doing that. Because um, like, like I said, I am still in that process. So now I feel like I, at first, when I first started my channel, I was about a year or so ago, I was down here. Now I'm up here. This is where I'm trying to get to. So for me, it's going to gradually go up. Some people, it happens a little quicker than that. Some people, it happens a lot longer than that. But I don't look at the time frame. I just look at my progress. Let's look at my progress. So that's why I continuously can keep doing what I'm doing and keep being motivational and keep being optimistic about where I'm trying to get to and keep my eye on the goal because I know where I want to be. I know that at the end of the day, I don't want to clock in for a nine, a nine to five. I know I don't want to work for somebody else. And everything that I do is always going to help me to get in that better mind frame to know that this is what I'm looking at. This is what I need to do. This is where I'm going to be. Okay, so hopefully these guys help you understand a little bit more about why you need to have the don't give a fuck attitude and make sure that you keep going with what it is you're promoting, whatever it is that you believe in, because knowing at the end of the day that you will be successful as long as you keep going. So on that note, I hope you guys have a great day. Leave some comments in the video. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up if you appreciate it and definitely don't hesitate to share. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. On that note, I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, y'all have a beautiful day.